Hey guys, Sam here with Traffic is King. I was uh, on online the other day trying to figure out how to brand my PayPal checkout pages and I didn't find any good tutorials. Um, I had to really do a lot of searching to figure out how to do it and um, I've learned that you can actually create more than one brandable checkout page. PayPal allows you to brand up to three checkout pages. So um, I said, you know what, I'm sure other people are trying to figure out how to do the same thing. So I created this video tutorial to show you guys how you can brand your PayPal checkout pages. And you can brand, uh, according to PayPal, you can brand up to three uh, checkout pages with your logo, image, uh, header. So uh, you definitely want to do that because if you have a product or service uh, and you're using PayPal as the, uh, as the checkout uh, option or as the uh, payment option you want to create uh, have your header up there to brand your brand your company brand your uh, your service or your product so that it stays in people's minds and it you know creates awareness of of your of your brand and your image so let me just take you real quickly the first thing you want to do is you want to go into PayPal and you go into the profile section and when you get into the profile section there is a section called custom payment pages so you're gonna click on that and with the custom payment pages is where you create uh, your brand uh, your brand your brandable image or at least the customizing of your PayPal checkout page now as I said before PayPal uh, says that you can brand up to three uh, checkout pages but I haven't tested I haven't tested this uh, to see if you can actually do more than three but um, I'm just going to take you through one of my checkout pages that I was able to brand. But uh, before I do that, if you want to do your own, what you want to do is you want to click on Add. And when you click on Add, then you have uh, some options uh, to cus to start the customizing of your of your page. Now, the first thing you do is you uh, create a, a page style name, and this is going to be very important later. I'm going to talk about this later on. But you want to uh, create a, a page style name. And then, if you have the URL of where your logo or your header image is located, uh, you want to put that in here. And make sure that uh, you look at the specifications. They require that the maximum size be 750 by 90 pixels. So anything greater than that, it's going to look real distorted on the PayPal checkout page. So make sure you have an edited image that conforms to these standards so that you're able to have it nice, uh, nicely fit in that, uh, in that area of the checkout page and you can do other things like uh, change the uh, the header color the background color um, the border and the background color so once you do all of that then you can preview it and then after you preview it it looks good uh, then you can save it so I'm gonna cancel that and that's just how you create your own uh, customize your, ch uh, your checkout page with your own header so I'm just gonna take take you through mine just so that you can see and we're just going to preview it so you can see what it looks like. And you can do this for up to three uh, checkout pages. So there you see, there's my uh, my header there, traffic is king, and it has my information there. So this is good, you know, it brands my uh, my company, my blog, and and you know, if I have a product or service, people see that brand image, so it just creates awareness with my product. Now. After you've created your header, uh, your customizable header image, and your uh, in the uh, customized payment uh, options, I'm sorry, the uh, custom custom payment uh, page styles. After you've created your uh, custom page style, then you want to go to Merchant Services where you uh, begin to create your button. And I'm going to show you what you have to do as far as the code that you have to put in to have each button show a different custom checkout page so the first thing you do is you create your button so we're gonna create a buy now button alright so we're gonna say we're gonna accept the payment for services so we'll click on services and uh, we wanna create a buy now button we'll just say script installation And we're going to say the price is 47 bucks to install the script, which is about 
what most people are paying to get scripts installed and you know you fill out the rest of this information here uh, if you have to, if you have a product and you need to track inventory or create any additional options in step two you go into step two we're gonna go right to step three and then in step three uh, you fill out the rest of the information here um, if you want them to put in any additional information any additional messages um, all the rest of this good stuff here um, and then after you've done all that then you create your button now PayPal gives me some code here that I'm gonna that's uh, that I'm gonna embed in my pay in my web page or in my blog but in order to get the custom page uh, with your brandable header on that uh, checkout page you're gonna have to add one piece of code so you're gonna copy and paste that code that you received from PayPal you're gonna go into a, open up a notepad and then you're gonna paste that code onto your notepad and you're gonna add one small piece of code that I'm gonna put on the screen so that you can see and the code that you're gonna put I'm gonna place it right here I'm gonna paste it is this right here and this is just letting page, uh, PayPal know that you have a custom page that you want the header to show on the checkout so it's gonna be input type hidden name page style which is the calling uh, uh, the calling variable uh, to call your custom uh, checkout page and then remember my checkout page was called traffic is king this is where your page name uh, comes into place because you're gonna put your page name right here which will call your uh, custom checkout page well, once you add this code then you wanna take the code copy it and then you're gonna paste it onto your blog or to your website now I've pasted that code into my blog and here I have uh, WordPress blog installation which uh, I'm, uh, I have a rate of forty seven dollars per install now when I click on the buy now button you will see that it will take take me to one of my custom checkout pages which will display my custom header and there you go so here you have traffic is king WordPress blog installation forty seven dollars so that's pretty much how you do it great way to brand your PayPal checkout pages if you're using pay, uh, PayPal as your payment uh, gateway if you have any questions just leave a comment below this blog post if you like it please uh, send a, uh, a retweet um, or if you want to bookmark it you can use any of the social bookmarks to bookmark it Thanks guys for watching and I'll speak to you soon.